what I did with my ink pads from last night that I took home. Good morning, everyone. How are we this morning? Have I got a couple of little early birds here? Oh, no, because it's frozen. Oh, you wretched thing. Oh, no, we haven't. How nice is my lighting this morning? Oh, oh, I can hear myself. Hang on. There we go. Right. Who's watching? Who's here? <coughs> Excuse me. Good morning, Diane. How are you? Look, the sun is absolutely blaring through my window here and I was going to turn on my overhead light here, but it's just its just absolutely lovely. So we're going for the natural lighting look this morning. I hope you are all okay. I know there's one big goober here. Let me just slide that back a bit and see if it moves. That's a bit better. So happy Sunday. I hope you are all doing wonderful wherever you are. And it's... It is absolutely, like I said, it's a beautiful morning here. We've got a couple of nice days of weather coming up here in Adelaide and I hope to hopefully see a little bit of it. Yeah, who am I kidding? Don't be ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I just thought uh, I would pop in this morning. I was going to have a face-to-face -face chat, but it's Sunday. And I'm not ready to be seen by the public this early in the day, so <laughs> I thought I would um, make something with my new leafy stamps. What do you think? How, do you love them? Have you ordered them? Are you all over it? Are you on it yet? I hope you are. So um, as part of the Picture to Page online show, I thought that I would... Uh, do a little bit of an art journal page this morning using some paints and my new stamps. So let me just open this up. That's really annoying. It really needs to be over here, doesn't it? That's a better spot. Um, ladies, I'm just going to move the camera a little bit. If you are, um, if you get seasick, look away now. We're just going to slide that over there. And let's see how that goes. I could shut the blinds, but you know, that'd be way too easy. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? And we're good. That's a bit better. <coughs> All right. I have my coffee. Good morning, ladies. There's quite a few of you watching on this lovely Sunday morning. I thought I might, um, I've got my little craft journal here and I just thought I might just throw some paint on it. Um, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. I know, just throw some paint on it. I have just grabbed a combination of paper artsy paints here. Um, I'm about to do another paper artsy order. Um, I do have a little bit of gesso uh, and I'm going to, I've got my messy mat here. Um, and just start start doing the thing. So yeah, as I was saying, it's part it's part of the uh, picture to page online show. We are we've got a bit of a sale on this weekend um, just to look after you guys. And I thought it might be great to tell you a bit about that on this Sunday morning. Now the sale does finish a little bit later today, so you need to get on it. We have got, uh, we've got 15% off of stamps and stencils. We have got 15% off of, um, good morning, Robin. 15% off stamps and stencils, 15% off of, what's that stuff called? Lindy's. Lindy's. Oh, okay. It is, it's early. It's only just gone 9 a.m. here in Adelaide. Um, we have got 15% off of paper. We've got Scrap Effects products 15% off. We have got alcohol ink 15% off. Good thing Louise is here telling me how to... <laughs> what's what's happening? Um, we have got 15% off of a whole range of stuff on online. Um, so make sure that you get on and have a bit of a look. We are planning on, you know, we want to look after you. So... 
could do that. And the other thing that we also have happening this weekend, of course, is our no judgment postage, which means that we will collate all of the orders together. So, oh, it's good. Jessica's here. Oh, good morning, Jess. Wakey, wakey. You up, baby? Are you laying in your bed or are you laying in bed with the dogs and, and dad? Probably shouldn't say that. It sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> I know, but yeah, we're all good. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of colour, a little bit of mark, a little bit of mark making, kind of smushing it on, and I'm just starting to connect them all. I'm going to add a like an orangey peachy colour in a minute, and um, you're up and putting makeup on. Oh my gosh, where are you, what? Who are you, and what have you done with my daughter, Jessica? Where are you going? Gosh. Sunday, babe. Coffee. So Sunday here in the studio, I am doing our October art journal class um, in our in our private art journal group. Only private to those people who have purchased the class. You are more than welcome to join in. But we have a a monthly class and this uh, today we are playing with acrylic paint we are working with a few little faces we're doing all sorts of bits and pieces so um, there's still time to join in on that class it's a $26 class and it um, it is suitable for everyone the good thing about it is as well is you can jump in and you can watch it back at any time that you like so you have that advantage all right, so just a few little colours here. And I've chosen colours that are going to work together. Um, they kind of complement each other on the craft and, and look kind of nice. So I'm just going to wipe up some of this now so that I can put some, down some more colours. And it's a little blendy. It's a little streaky and a little strokey, and I'm okay with that. Um... I've also got a little bit of grey, just a little bit of a light grey here. I just thought I'd pop over some light grey with my palette knife. Maybe. Hey Lou, can I get you to grab me one of my catalyst tools, please? I don't know what point I would have taken it off my desk, but you know, that now would be wonderful. It certainly wouldn't, wasn't to clean it. <laughs> Are you saying it's dirty? It's not dirty. That's the clean one. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm just going to use my catalyst tool to get a bit of grey over the top here, just for to wipe a bit of texture over and give it a bit of a, a bit of a um, more organic, swipey sort of look over it. Organic. And I organic. I know it's a bit of an idiot word for today, isn't it? And what what it's doing is just adding a little bit of a rough finish to it, and best priced classes ever. Thank you, Kerry Ann. Um, <laughs> I, we try and send out a little kit most months. Um, I have got my classes for November and December planned in my head. Um, and there's no kit ready for those at this stage. So they will be posted out as soon as the class is completed. Um, at this end, as soon as I finish creating it, I should say, and then we will make it all happen all right so i've just put a little bit of that um that lovely peach over the top a color similar to peach that's not a paper artsy product is blushing that's really really nice to use um very very similar as you can see blushing and peach nectar uh so yeah really beautiful colors i'm just going to quickly heat that with the heat hit that with the heat gun before i pop on some stamping and some mark making Good morning, Chris from Hobart. Good morning, Sandra. Deb, you are predictable, babe. Did everybody see, and I know it must have absolutely made your day, Mr. Tim Holtz overnight released a new colour. He has released Villainous Potion, which is a really, really deep purple colour. So uh, if you have not pre-ordered that with me, you will have until probably tomorrow to jump on to, online to secure your distress oxides, distress paints, etc. 
So you need to do that through my Facebook group um, in the Natalie May scrapbooking community. That is where you need to do that. All right, I just want to add a little touch of gold here, just because I am I'm loving gold at the moment. Oh, good morning, Dee from New Zealand. Um, <clears throat> I'm loving gold at the moment, and I've got a I've got the paper artsy gold here, but the other gold that I just got back in stock, which is my favourite, is the <clears throat> excuse me is the Reeves gold. Um, that one works really, really well. All right, so on the back of my palette knife, I'm just going to put some super light touches. So it's just going to balance out and give it a little shine. Give it a little bit of what's going on there. And it's kind of close to the craft color as well. So it is blending in beautifully. So yes, the Tim Holtz new colour is a really, really lovely deep purple and you can jump onto his YouTube channel and all ranges, I think it is, and have a bit of a look and see what the, that new colour looks like. Um, all right, little touch of gold. Um, beautiful. No, I don't love purple. Purple <laughs> is not my favourite colour in the world. Um, purple is... But that's okay, it's growing on me. If I use it in the right context, it's not so bad. Um, and that's that's perfectly okay. I don't have to love all the colors. Uh, okay, so coffee. I'm going to use a white Stabilo pencil and just do a little bit of scribbly mark making doesn't really do anything it's just a white pencil and I'm holding my pen my pencil really high so that it you know it's just a mark it's nothing nothing more than that just a little bit of a scribble purple is not the new black Kerry Ann you can calm right down babe <laughs> just saying okay let's talk about my leafy stamps so this is the these are all little hand-drawn designs that I have done um, they are designs that I've drawn over time in my art journal and on little gift tags and projects when I've done doodling. You know telephone doodling? Love me some telephone doodling. They are not original images. Everybody can draw things like this. But for those of you who can't draw things like this, here's a stamp set of six and they are $34. I used them last night when I made all your little thank you cards. You know the little thank you cards that you get when you get do an order with Natalie May? Oops, what am I doing? Natalie May, you um, they will come to you with the new designs on them. All right, so I'm using a black archival ink. And what I want to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of stamping here. Oh. Can we just take a moment? Take a moment. Take a moment. Take it in. Isn't that nice? And I'm going to pop some over here. Now I've got a bit of an uneven sort of surface here, so I'm just going to put my block underneath. Pop a little down there. Oh, look, and I might even consider using a baby wipe to clean it off. This little guy here is, you could easily use this as two stamps, but I'm going to use it, or one stamp. Lovely. So what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm just going to put some strips of paper across here. don't want this one so this time I'm just going to take a little scrap bit of paper not enough not enough because I haven't cut mine I'm 
there's a plan. There's, there's a slight plan going on here. Now, there is a tutorial on um, the Natalie May scrapbooking community on how to cut your stamps as well. Okay, so you will find a little tutorial there on how to do that. If you are not confident with cutting stamps, they are super easy, but they do come as one big solid stamp and they, uh, and I do this to, because I love the red rubber and I didn't want to sacrifice quality for easily cutability. Is, <laughs> I don't know if that's Easily cutability, <laughs> to quote the lovely Louise this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah, Fit. that's right. Go with it. Go with it. It's fine. It's Sunday. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I need to tidy up my stamps a bit. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit of over stamping, and that's okay. I'm just wiping it back quickly with um, a baby wipe. And I'm going to use this little guy. Carrie Ann thought it was a nice comment. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie Ann. I'm pushing behind because I've got that uneven um, area there okay so all right that's enough of that stamping so what I'm going to do next is a little bit of black so I have got a pilot pilot pen here which is a super fine pilot pen um, I do have them available online I do believe they are called something like the G70 or something along those lines um, and what I'm going to do is I have just got a bit of book paper here because my leaves are kind of floating. They don't have any context. So to fix that up, I'm going to pop in some collaging, okay? Some little collage elements and they will go in. That one's a bit thick. In there. medium okay so I'm using the chroma Krill gel medium um, for a little area like this you could easily use glue I'm just going to pop some on my finger pop it on the back of the paper Stick that down. Um, yeah, you, are you actually thinking about using the new stamps, Carrie Ann? Well, that's a bit nice. You're going to crack them open, give them a go. Do you want me to sign them for you before I. Or are you going to save them? Do you want. <laughs> I know I'm so funny in the morning. Clearly, I need more coffee. All right, so now that's kind of connected to something, and I'll do the same thing here. Not with that one. What do we got here? I seem to have a book here about dress patterns. Corsets, corselets, and brassieres. Brassieres? 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 Bras. Bra bra I don't know. Brassieres. Brassieres. So I just want to do a thin piece in here. And I'm just going to tear that back. So what's everybody up to today? I know some of you are joining my online class at 11am. Um, and I hope some of you are enjoying some family time.
It might have been a bit too early for me to start creating this morning. My brain hasn't quite worked out how to do the things. All right, I've got to, I've got to put a bit of balance on here. Um, I, <laughs> I'm going to... I've got it here and I've got it here and I need to perhaps pop a little up here. Otherwise, it's just not going to look great. Uh, I need to grab a bit of paper. So let's have another go here. I seem to be working in slow motion, I feel like. All right. Good morning, Tanya. Oh, happy anniversary. Happy wedding anniversary, Linda. That's fantastic. How many years? 40 years. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. Well done. I didn't think you were that old, babe. <laughs> um, yeah, a bit up there. Child so, bride. Child bride. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Um, congratulations. I hope you enjoy your day with your person and your husband person. And um, you shouldn't be here talking to me. You should be hanging out with him. All right. And I'll cut that off. There. All right, well, look at that. How quickly did that sun disappear and move off of my desktop? No, Michelle, don't buy the 15-year-old my sweary stamps, babe. Good parenting. Well done. He's cooking you breakfast. Oh, I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm going to have to do that soon. My tummy's grumbling. All right, so I've got my collaging done. I'm just going to use my nail file to cut that off because I haven't got a pair of scissors handy. And done. Okay, let's add some marks on here. So I've got my, like I was saying before, I've got my pilot pen and I'm just going to do a little scribble. I feel like something else needs to be in here. It feels a little um, unfinished. So I'm gonna take a couple of these guys off the block. And pop those into there. Little little connection there. And I also feel the same about this. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Alright. Stipulo pencil to do couple of little marks actually let's pull out a let's just pull out a black pen and a thicker black pen and do it because it's quicker Good morning, Susan. Welcome to my lazy, kind of quiet little art journaling session this morning as we all enjoy our morning coffee. And I've just got my Pintor pen here. And I'm just going to pop a couple of little marks around the place. Do you know a year ago we were in Kangaroo? Yeah, I, um, I saw that come up in my Facebook memories last night. Louise just said a year ago we were um, in Kangaroo Island. I reckon that was the last time we had days off in a row <laughs> wasn't it 
Well, seriously, that would have been the last time we had a holiday. So that's okay. A year ago is not too bad. Could be worse. All right. I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. How can you not have had a coffee yet, Susan? Goodness me. Bless you. All right, brave woman, starting the day without a coffee this early. Alrighty, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've just gone in and added a few little white spots and a few little white areas. I'm going to um, grab my sweary stamps in a moment and put a little, a little word in here. So, but before I do that, I'm just going to do a little bit more uh, light skinny pen doodling um, to balance it out. So do we love how these, these colours on craft just look fantastic? Um, they, they've come up looking really, really pretty. I can even take, here's an idea, my white Stabilo pencil and do a few little highlight spots in my leaves. a little pop and it's coming up looking kind of nice let's have a look at these colors up close on camera scribbly but easy and of course then the other two stamps that I released yesterday morning are uh, the Just Be Kind stamp set. So we've got here, sometimes all you need is a little splash of colour. Um, out of limitation comes creativity. Just Be Kind, which is pretty much my motto at the moment. I um, can't use that word enough. Be the energy you want to attract, which I absolutely love. Work hard, be nice, bam. And then I've got my colour wheel. So yesterday afternoon, I did a little live Facebook using my colour wheel. So you'll be able to pop back and have a look at that. And then that uh, my lovely daughter, Jessica, is going to pop those up on YouTube. So you can go back and easily find them. Now, I know it's very early on a Sunday morning. But if you are easily offended and a little conservative, um, just pop away from the camera for a moment because here are my sweary stamps so they do have naughty words in them I'm not going to look on you know hang these up here for too long you can jump online and look at them but you get 26 stamps in this collection okay so you can quite easily find that something there if you um, if you would like something to add a little honesty to your your projects um, if that is your thing all right so what I'm going to put on my what am I going to put on my project this morning okay I'm not going to put those on my project this morning because when I do my interview this afternoon with the lovely team at picture to page I will show this page and again let's not publicly offend anybody you can choose to be offended by looking or not look at the um, project at the stamp sorry but I won't force it on you all right work hard be nice BAM so while I'm doing this I'm just going to do a little test stamp um, don't forget to have a look um, on nataliemay.com.au in our clearance section. Majority of the items in our clearance section are just one-offs, a couple of things that are still left. Um, and most of them are 30% off. Like, seriously, 30% off is an absolute bargain. So there's paper collections in there, there's stamps, there's dies. There's all yeah. sorts. Oh, that would have been great if it was straight. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Uh, anyway, Sunday. Um, <laughs> now I need one of those sweary stamps. Put it over the top. I'd, um, yes, yeah, so... Here we go, here we go, here we go. I've Remember got... it's Sunday. It is Sunday and I'm not going to say the word. And even, even I've chosen a stamp that is not sweary out of the set because they're not all sweary. Well, that's a bit boring. I know, I know, I know. Um, okay. Did you just do a poo stamp? I didn't do a poo stamp. <laughs> I did a seriously stamp. Absolutely. Oh poo. oh poo. I could do an oh poo stamp next time, perhaps. Because that does nothing. Because poo or oh rats, which I used to say a lot when I was working at the scrapbook shop. Um, there we go. A little bit of off stamping. So yes, we do have quite the clearance section. Um, now, for all of you who are also thinking about Christmas, <laughs> yes, um, we have got 15% off our clearance, uh, sorry, off our um, Christmas items as well, okay? So make sure that you have a look at the Christmas things. And then a massive new big kit has just gone online yesterday as well, and that is the Christmas binder album. So um, they are very, very limited stocks. They will not be done again. Um, and you will need to jump on that before they sell out because there is only a few left. And they are a mini album, a very awesome little mini album. All right. You know when you look at a word and you wonder, is that spelt correctly? Yes, it is. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I have done ample on my little page here. My mark, mark, mark making has uh, turned into something that's a little bit bigger than Ben-Hur for a Sunday morning, but there you go. Um, I'm going to take a photo of this and I will pop it up on the Facebook page with a link to the products that I have used for you to see and um, click onto if you would like. I hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday morning. Um, I look forward to seeing some of you online at 11am Adelaide time for the uh, art journal class and I'm hoping to come back this afternoon and do a, a double page scrapbook layout using Paper Rose papers that have just been released as well. Um, I just haven't set a time for that yet and about three-ish Adelaide time we are thinking. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, work hard, be nice, and um, we'll see you all soon. Thanks, guys.